also do. Thank you very much. I think it's a wonderful way to, to conclude our journey. And I think, um, I think you could all appreciate, we probably started this journey together, probably with, overwhelmed by thoughts of the fractured world. And I hope that as we conclude this journey, that we'll start the year ahead with thoughts about a shared future. And so I appreciate your willingness to be on that journey. And you heard from the panel to take that spirit forward in your work. And I'd like to bring to close this 48th annual meeting uh, with just three things. First, great deep appreciation to all of you, the communities, those of you who've, who've supported and worked with us throughout the year um, to be really one family, one forum. So thank you very much. Second, I'd like to thank all of my collaborators. Some you've seen, some you haven't, but they've all worked very, very hard throughout the night throughout the days, throughout the week. And it's truly really a labor of love. And, and, and they are, I hope, in one way or another, been able to touch your lives so that you can go forward and help us create that shared future. And thank you. And lastly, it was beautiful to hear this choir from Davos, but also earlier in the day, or in the afternoon, the Landswehr from Freiburg. And there would have been one person who would have really, really appreciated that, which I'd like to dedicate this annual meeting to. It's our colleague, Jean-Luc Vey, who is from Freiburg, and he spent most of his career making sure that all of us in Switzerland were safe. And then he started his second career making sure that all of us during the annual meeting and in all our foreign events were also very safe. He passed away before the beginning of the new year. So I'd like to honor his memory by dedicating this annual meeting to him, Jean-Luc Fay. Let me close by saying, you obviously sense that we had an incredible cohort of co-chairs, amazing leaders. And it's my great honor, really, and I've just talked to you about how much work that's been into us to actually invite onto the stage to really formally close this 40th annual meeting by inviting one of our co-chairs, who, by the way, has the distinction of having served as co-chair twice, Sharon Burrow, the General Secretary of the International Trade Union Confederation. Sharon, please. Thanks. Klaus and Hilda, let me use your first names because indeed we all feel part of your family. But on behalf of seven co-chairs who enjoyed listening to each other and found common ground on the need for a new social contract, I thank you both. The courage to name the problem with the theme of a fractured world combined with the challenge of a shared future to set the focus for the forum, it did. But also it underscored the demand for a negotiated global solution to that future. I represent working people around the world, so it is with great pride that I also thank your staff, the hundreds who are here and others who are around the rest of the countries that make up this great organisation. They're professional, generous people working for months to make this conference possible. Then, of course, I want to thank the hundreds of staff who are indeed here in the centre, who've served you every day, and the drivers, the security staff, and, of course, the people of Davos who welcome us into their home every year. The dignity of decent work must always be central to a just future. The artists here this afternoon, who indeed put people at the heart of the story, have just completed a week where, Klaus, I think you can be proud of the fact that we have grown the numbers of a community of business, labour and civil society leaders committed to healing the fractures of today's world as a foundation 
to include the opportunities of technology, even as we change our world to save the planet from the ravishes of climate change and other environmental devastation. A world where we must ensure that no one will be left behind, that there are just transitions. The demand for inclusion was on show this week with seven women as co-chairs. Shouldn't be a novelty in 2018, but indeed it was. Gender equality, but also diversity and human rights are demands for both the healing and the foundations of the future. On, all, on behalf of all of you, I can say we are motivated to go from here and invite others to join the movement to negotiate a shared future in a world that is three times richer than it was 30 years ago, but suffers historical inequality, historical displacement of people, increased conflict and exclusion. A future which realises the promise of, a, of the Sustainable Development Goals. For that, I also thank all of you. Let's ensure now that Davos 2018 was just a beginning to realise a future where we globalise compassion and ensure a place for everyone. Thank you. Thank you all again.